now let's move to interaction module and create fluid cavity definitions so uh, let's go to interaction and then manager create uh, here is the fluid cavity option let's name it fluid cavity okay and then fluid cavity option chosen continue select the cavity point so now here comes the point earlier we have created the reference point okay so that has to be selected here so I will select this reference point and then it is asking uh, select the cavity surface so earlier we have also created a surface so we will select that surface by clicking here here is the list of all surfaces if you check this highlight selections in viewport it will highlight the internal uh, cavity okay so let's select that okay now here comes a window where some options has to be filled so uh, fluid cavity property option is blank okay so let's create one so click here create interaction property and uh, select fluid cavity okay and let's name it something you know, just fluid cavity property okay <clears throat> so uh, click continue and check pneumatic because we are using gas so uh, air so it has to be pneumatic right so uh, ideal gas molecular weight mm, 0 0.028 kg per mole okay so uh, molar heat capacity has to be uh, defined so check it because we will use explicit uh, step okay so we will have to do this if we don't do this it will work properly but yeah let's let's define it okay so I will check tabular and uh, molar heat capacity click OK again so we have defined fluid cavity property okay so we can close this window here now we will move to load module and define boundary conditions load and some initial conditions right so uh, let's go to load and then manager create step one okay we can name the load pressure and select here pressure okay so click continue now here the message says select surface for the load so click on surfaces earlier we have created this cavity surf remember so we will select that continue and now distribution uh, make it default like no nope, uniform magnitude just give 0.4 megapascal and uh, amplitude select amp1 we have uh, created earlier in the step module so that we have selected here so click ok click on dismiss let's create a boundary condition also because uh, we have to uh, you know remove all the rigid body movements of this object so we have to create a uh, boundary condition so click create uh, initial 
select this one uh, symmetry asymmetry symmetry and caster click continue and uh, we are not going to select any of the set from here so click on dismiss we will select from the viewport here so select this phase so basically idea is to uh, constrain the movement of this phase in every direction so I will select it click on done and then choose this and caster option and click OK so this is how we create boundary condition okay